everybody, Shabba here, back from another video, and today I will show you how to make custom emotes in Roblox. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make a tool. So I'm going to right click starter pack, which should be an explorer. I'm going to click insert object. And then I'm going to click Tool. Now that we have our tool in the starter pack, we're going to want to change some of the properties of it. So you want to click it. And first, I'm just going to name it something. So I'm just going to name it Emote. And then I'm going to change these settings because these really need to be changed. So it requires handle. You want to set that to false because if it's on true, it will automatically just not work at all. And can be dropped. You can just uncheck that. So if they press backspace on their keyboard, it'll just get rid of the tool if it's checked. So now you want to right click emote, click insert object, and then press script. So this is where all our scripting is gonna be. But now we wanna make an animation. So we can put it inside of the tool and then we can play the animation whenever the person equips it. So you want to go back to the base plate, or whatever the name of your game is. Then you want to go to plugins at the top. Then you want to build rig, whatever type your game supports. Mine supports R15. So I'm going to place, I'm going to put block rig. I'm going to drag it down by holding click. And then I'm going to use animation editor. So you want to click that. You want to click the rig. And then you want to name your animation. I'm just going to name it dance. Now you want to just animate it. I'm just going to make a simple quick animation for this tutorial. I'm just going to do this. Then I'm going to make another keyframe. And then I'm just going to make a last one right here. So now you want to export it by clicking the three dots, clicking export, and then save it. Roblox might want you to put a description, so I'm just going to put E right there, and then click submit. Then you want to click this right here next to the ID. I'll make you copy the ID and then close it. And press the X on the animation editor. Now you want to insert the animation. So you want to scroll down in Explorer, right click emote, insert object, animation. Now you want to change the ID of the animation. So you want to click the animation. Go to Properties, and then Animation ID. You want to paste whatever you copied into there. And then press Enter. It will automatically correct it to this. Now, you want to double-click Script, or press this. Now we're going to start our scripting. So I'm going to make a two variables. So local tool so I have a variable for the tool equals script dot parent so go is gonna go from the script to the emote which is the tool now we're gonna make the animation variable the so local animation equals tool made for child we're gonna use this so we can wait for this to load in just in case it hasn't then we're gonna put animation now we got our variables. We can press enter a few times and then press and then put in tool.activated connect function. And then it should look like this. Now we're gonna need to see if a humanoid is holding it, also known as the player. So local humanoid is tool.parent on first child, which is a humanoid. I'm gonna use this instead of wait for child. 
because if there isn't one, it's going to wait forever and then it's going to break. So if humanoid, meaning that a player is holding it and then glitch out or something, then local anim, which is short for animation, was animation equals humanoid load animation animation whatever that variable is and then you're going to want to press enter anim play like this now we're going to make a wait function that waits for the player to do something and then we'll deactivate the animation so tool dot unequipped i'm going to do that one connect function you want to do connect wait actually and then anim stop so it'll stop the animation just in case it's looping or it's just a really long animation and now you want to go to play and test it so once you're loading in you just have this in your inventory and equip it you can click it will play the animation And then if you unequip it while it's playing, it'll automatically stop. And that's how you make custom emotes in Roblox. Make sure to slap that like button and punch that subscribe button. Peace.